Welcome to Decker Tech. I'm Aaron Decker, and today we're doing just a very quick video on how to decide between all resistances or max HP when picking your perks in Across the Obelisk. Uh, for those that understand effective HP, the answer is resistances. Uh, for those that don't know what I mean by effective hit points, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go through that discussion here in just a moment. Uh, I do these videos for free. Uh, so the best way you can help make these videos happen is subscribe so that YouTube starts paying me or, uh, you know, just give me some praise. I, I, I do pretty well on, on comments of what you like and what you want to see. So let me know those. Uh, but in Across the Obelisk, we have two things that affect the, the amount of damage we take. Well, our survival here. We have our hit points and if they go zero, we die, right? But our survival is also based off of these resistances. And Magnus has, everyone starts with somewhere between 0 to 25 of each resistance, uh, depending on the, the flavor and the character. But all every character has a resistance that starts at 0. So with our baseline resistances of 0, uh, hit points, like 100 damage will kill a 100 hit point hero like Magnus. But as we increase the resistances, uh, it takes more and more damage to, to kill him. And the the biggest ways to add resistances to our character are going to be the items or these buffs like reinforce and insulate and such and specifically they have a baseline of 30 percent resist or you can bump that up to 35 percent so when we do these assumptions of should i get hit points or should i get resistances if you have no if you have no resistances to begin with and you don't have anything buffing your resistance then four hit point perk is more beneficial to you than a two resistances perk because you just don't have uh, like you know four is greater than two sort of thing but the more resistances you get the more impactful resistance becomes also the same thing with hit points the more hit points you get the more impactful resistances become uh, and i can show you a big old spreadsheet about it here in a second but in general uh if you do the math with Assuming a baseline of, I have the appropriate buff up of Reinforce or Insulate or Courage. And I also went with the, you have someone on the team with a 35% instead of the 30. And uh, get ready for it. Here's the math. Ba -ba -ba. So, Warriors gain 10 hit points per level. Magnus, Heiner, Grookly, and Bree. Whereas everyone else gains 5 hit points per level. And the Warriors start with more hit points to begin with. So in general, their health pools are bigger. And that's what these first two sets are. This is just me calculating health pools at level one, effective hit points, stuff like that. You don't have to worry about the particulars here, but basically Warriors have more hit points, everyone else less. Go figure. And then there's this calculation of, okay, if I'm level zero, if I want to pick the plus two resistances or plus four hit points, which one's better? Plus four hit points across the board for effective hit points. And we'll talk about the difference between effective hit points and healing. But uh, that's a, that's a, the final note. But if we're just talking about raw damage we can take before we die, like avoiding getting one hit by an, an enemy monster, then hit points is the right answer until we start getting up to this uh, 15 baseline resist for Heiner because he has so many hit points that at 15 resistances, getting, uh, if you get go down the entire perk tree here, let me go off the back here. For Heiner, once he's once you have just baseline 15 resist, which is like a single item, and you go down this whole resistance tree, that's better than going down the, the health tree for him. Because he already has enough hit points to begin with that the resistance is affecting him more. Uh, and when we're talking about this, maybe I should have started with this. Say I have 100 hit points and a monster hits me for 50. At zero resistances, that's... Um, that's 50 damage, right? But at 50% resistances, that's 25 damage. So the, uh, the bigger your health pool is, the more likely you'll survive the hit initially. And that gives you the chance to have those resistances lower it. So like in that scenario where a monster hits me for 50 and I have no resistances, two hits and I'm dead. But if I have 50% resistances, that becomes four hits and I'm dead. That, that doubled my, my effective hit points. And there's breakpoints and there's all the sorts of math involved in it, which you don't have to understand to, to know these things. And I'm I'm running without a script again, so I apologize. But the idea is the more hit points we get, the 
the better the resistances start to look. And the more resistances we have, the better the resistances start to look. And once we get to this, so I have here 50% resist. So that's a baseline of one item that gives average of 15. So like, you know, just a standard piece of armor and a ring will give you somewhere in between, you know, 12 and 25. So that plus the, the perk for the, um, the reinforce, the insulate is another 35%. So that gets up to the 50% resist. Once we have 50% resist, every single character, despite how much the starting hit points are, prefers resistances over hit points. At least if you go down the whole tree. If you're only going, you know, a couple points in, then hit points are still better for taking a whack. But if you look at these numbers, the difference is only, there's only two. I know they're kind of small on the screen, but the difference is only like one or two difference between once we get to 50% resist, which tree is more important. Like once we're there, both trees are equal on everyone's plate um, until we start going down the entire tree. Like the first point is the same. Sorry, I, I buggered that. Let's go back to the perk tree here. So the idea is the later the game goes, the more hit points we'll have and the more effective resistance will be. The um, the more better, the later the game goes, the more armor we'll have and the more resistance we'll have, like, you know, from items that we pick up along the way. So in the super early game, hit points will, will do you better for surviving a single hit. But as the game progresses, resistance becomes more and more important. And so the, the point I'm trying to make here is as long as you're not getting one shot in act one, go resistances. Because not only are the numbers equal on your effective hit points, we haven't even talked about healing. So go back to that scenario where you have 100 hit points, monster hits you for 50, and you have no resistances. You took 50 damage and you now have to heal up 50 points. Well, you know, that's going to take a while, even with all the heal perks here. And in the other scenario, if you had 50% resist, then that 50 damage becomes 25 and now you only have to heal up 25 damage so that takes twice half the amount of healing so your healer can either catch up be more effective or play other cards so the whole point is the math says they're pretty close in the so in the best case scenario for going down the hit point tree resistance is right behind it and very close to it uh and then in the worst case scenario, resistance is winning anyway. And in both cases, resistance improves the effectiveness of your healing. So there's there's no reason to not just go all the way down this resistance tree. Like, do get all the other stuff you need. This is just my base Magnus saying, hey, these are the this is where I always want Magnus. And I'll talk about these skill trees later. But in general, resistance over health. That is all. Bye now.